Hi students, I'm Jeff, and today's conversation topic is technology. So let's go over the vocabulary, expressions, and questions together, beginning with pronunciation. <clears throat> so repeat after me. Inventions. Innovations. Advanced. Convenience. Convenience. Revolutionary. Gadgets. Time saving devices. User friendly. Environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly. Upgrade. Outdated. Primitive. A dinosaur. Ancestors. Machinery. Tools. Engineering. Competitive advantage. Millennium. And now I'll explain some of those for you. An innovation is something new. Gadgets are small, specialized, mechanical, or electronic devices. User friendly means easy for the average person to use. Environmentally friendly means not harmful to the environment. To upgrade means to improve the quality of. Outdated means out of date, old fashioned, old. Primitive means simple, unsophisticated, non industrial. A dinosaur in this context means a technological item that is very old, for example, a computer from three years ago. A competitive advantage is something that helps one business do better than another. A millennium is a period of 1,000 years. And now the expressions. Necessity is the mother of invention, means when people really need to do something, they will figure out a way to do it. And don't reinvent the wheel means don't make unnecessary or redundant preparations. Don't do unnecessary things. All right, now let's go over the conversation questions. Number one, how has modern technology made life on Earth better? Two, what are some of the most important inventions in history in the last 50 years, in the last 10 years, and from your country? Three, are there any negative things about technology? Four, are we too dependent on technology? Five, is it still important for people to learn primitive skills? If so, explain. Six, what is the relationship between human identity and technology? Seven, how does technological development affect people's employment both positively and negatively. 8. How do you feel about your government spending money on research? 9. What predictions can you make and what hopes do you have about the technology of the future? And 10. Do you have any comments or questions about the article? 
As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.